Okay, Pero, so let's continue. The next paper is Semantic Web Technologies, Issues and Possible Ways of Development by Belezerov or Klimov. Are you ready to share your screen? Well, I'm here. I'm Belezerov, Alexander. Uh, wait a second, please. Can you hear me well? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, well. <clears throat> Okay. Sure. Well, <clears throat> and uh, what will my talk be about? And this state of the art research is about to outline the current state of semantic technologies and their possible development path. A significant part of the content of the World Wide Web is intended for human reading and not for program processing, especially intelligent processing. In theory, semantic technologies should give structure to the content of the World Wide Web so that the search engines will work at the level of data and not at the level of web pages. This requires a universal method of machine readable description of data. And it should be the semantic web. That's how it uh, looked in Forgotten Dreams. And uh, it is a public global semantic network that standardizes the presentation of information in a form suitable for machine processing and is formed on the basis of the World Wide Web. It should, but it uh, didn't at the moment. Uh, Tim Berners-Lee, the inventor of the World Wide, uh, of the Semantic Web, proposed the name Semantic Web uh, and called it the next step in the development of the World Wide Web. And father proposed the term giant global graph. And how has it started from this model? Original semantic web should work in parallel with the World Wide Web using the HTTP protocol and URI resource identifiers. But there is a hole in this web. Addresses in the global network as the main method of identifying entities are short-lived and non-permanent. And also there is no single standard of generating addresses but they are only syntax agreements. And it should be recognized that the main reason for the extremely slow development of the semantic web project isn't this whole, but an assumption that site owners will build a semantic web over the world wide web on their own. Of course, they will not. In recent times, semantic technologies kind of stagnate, but uh, positive shifts in the semantization of the web are beginning to occur. However, they didn't come from where they were expected. The one is folksonomy, the classification implemented on a voluntary basis, the practice of joint categorization of information, such as texts, links, photos, video clips, etc. by means of arbitrarily chosen text. And the second one are simple APIs of popular services and microformats, HTML and XHTML tags endowed with an alternative meaning through their parameters. This small brick from the same small illustration of this presentation uh, will allow to build not a semantic web, but a hybrid web that consists of web pages with metadata. Moving on about the problems. Everything is simple here. On the left, we have expectations and on the right, reality. So, first of all, it's permissible to call a knowledge graph a semantic storage containing the most complete description of a certain subject area. But at the same time, it contains only and only a large structured set of facts, related facts, but not knowledge. Second, compared 
to relational tables, there is no special additional data linkage in the graph. Transferring data from one schema to another doesn't increase the number of links and doesn't add new link data, linked data. And also, with the help of the logical conclusions, it can obtain new statements, but not knowledge. So, as we think, we should not try to make a strong AI from a week that is capable of looking for text meaning, and we should do something for the only intelligent interpreter in our search system now, the user. We should do something at the first with his user interface and with the metaphor of a search box. The search box is familiar to everyone who has ever searched for something on the web, but in a semantic search system, it leads to incorrect user behavior. Instead of using the full power of natural language query interpretation mechanism, it will compose queries simple and atomic as much as possible as traditional search engines interfaces taught them. And maybe the graph model would be more applicable. However, this isn't the reason to abandon AI in semantic uh, search and semantic technologies. Uh, modern technology has reached a sufficient level to spread voice input interfaces everywhere in the form of voice assistance. So the future of semantic technologies may be in a natural language processing. Voice assistants rely on a technology called natural language processing, NLP, which uses artificial intelligence and machine learning. And this means that over time they can learn the speech patterns of the person speaking to them, as well as the ways of expressing emotions, preferences, and other behaviors. Perhaps this will bring real meaningfulness to the semantic search implemented on the basis of neural networks. So, in conclusion, the aim of semantic technologies nowadays is only to standardize the collection and processing of data, automate data exchange between independent applications, and refine data search. What is not the aim is to work with mean. No. The next step in the sem sem semantization of the web could be speech and emotion recognition technologies, as well as the further development of uh, neural network language models. Another one step, using microformats, markup languages familiar to web developers and enhancing user inter interfaces. No need uh, to come up with another standard for the web. You need to expand the most successful ones available, microformats based on HTML and XHTML. You shouldn't rely on the altruism or ideology of millions of people that, will, that they will take and relearn. No, microformats, either way. So thank you, really thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, I will try to get them. Okay, thank you for your presentation. Any questions for the audience? Okay, it appears not to be any question left. So we will continue with the next article. Thank you. Thank you all.